Mr. Axel Alletrud. I'm so glad to be with you today. And uh, today I will share you my, my story, a story through which I am trying to, to communicate some message, especially the message of resilience. How I learn resilience. How, despite my disability, I managed to find life as valid as possible. I went through different stages, hoping, despair, still hoping, accepting the change in my new life. But one thing is sure, when I woke up every day, I thought about one thing, to walk again. My focus was just only that, to walk again. I realized that I have handicap for my entire life, and I will have to adapt myself in any kind of situation. That's the key, adaptation. And I said, now how to make sense in this new life? What will make me go out of the bed every morning? What will be my life goal? Even if the doctor tells me that I will stay in a wheelchair for my entire life, today, 13 years after my crash, I can stand up, but this time, walk again like one, two, three kilometers by myself. How many people will tell you that is impossible or that you will fail? I think 80%. They couldn't do it, so you won't be able as well. But no, it's not work like this. But imagine stay with people like that in the center, in the recovery, for like one month, two months. You can be strong mentally. But this time, imagine staying with the same people for one year, two years, lock up with them 24 hours each day. That's not the same way at all. I learned resilience, and resilience taught me how to accept the situation. Don't forget this happiness of life of each of us. Thank you. <laughs>